everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Lesson from number 97, and I quote, 99% faith is not enough. Aim for 100% faith for Buddha's truth and the spiritual truth. Thank you, Lord God. I love this sentence. Why do I love this sentence, this truth, this commandment? Because it's because it really changed my view of life and it really changed my view towards faith. Um, as long, so Master, this isn't the first time Master preached us to this, that faith cannot be 99%, it's gotta be 100%. Uh, I think it was, for me at least, first introduced to me through a book, Kyoten, uh, called The Rebirth of Buddha. In The Rebirth of Buddha, Master clearly states this, that 99% of faith is not true faith. Um, it's gotta be 100%, or else faith is not complete as faith. It, you're still, if it's not 99%, and if there's 1% of doubt, it means that you, you're you still doubting. You haven't crossed the river of, you haven't, you know, taken the leap of faith yet. You haven't gotten to the other side of the shore of enlightenment. Uh, one thing that really changed my perspective in being in happy science is that it's the most highest form of academia. After you believe, then the true knowledge and wisdom starts to be become explorable. You see, I think like my mistaken view of faith was if you believe you're brainwashed, you're told what you're told to do, and you have no room to think, but no. I was so, I was so immature in my way of thinking, and it was such a wrong view that I have adopted in this three-dimensional rational world. Uh, after you adopt pure faith, then comes true exploration of wisdom, true exploration of yourself, and true self-transformation towards a better being. And so, 99% faith is not real faith. That sentence had the power to shake my mind, shake my soul, and to get rid of that mistaken scale. You know, the scale that was covering my eyes? Uh, thinking that faith is something that confines you in a small world? No. It's the ticket to allow you to explore the uncharted waters of real wisdom. This was one of those uh, powerful one sentence, one phrase truth that helped me awaken to reality of faith. Because 1% of uh, disbelief can easily turn into 100% of disbelief. That's how immature human beings are. I've seen it in myself. I've observed it in others. So let's humbly take into the sentence and start reflecting on whether our faith has always been playing favoritism. We only believed when it was only convenient for us. And if we truly, wholeheartedly, openly accept Alcantara's truth or not. This is the first path of the Eiffel Path, right view. Uh, those are the thoughts that crossed my mind. What did you think? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. And see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.